Good morning, God afternoon, God evening, from wherever you're watching this from. I hope you all are doing great from your respective places. I'm back yet once again with another story, with another video. To our returning subscribers, thank you so much for your love, your support, and for always tuning in. And if you are new here, kindly don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join our family which is sarsex squared forever harry and megan's trip to colombia really caused an uproar people are still ranting people are still crying over that successful event and the fact that majority uk media tabloids one what kind of denied access you know towards Harry and Megan. That one still frustrates or bothers them uh, to date. But who cares? No one cares. Because why Harry and Megan should invite, uh, you know, people who are just coming to create lies and go yours them uh, on their TV stations, uh, you know, for a whole set up of podcasts. I see that King Charles, uh, the royal reporters, are still whining uh, on their podcast and TV interviewers that Prince Harry and Meghan denied them access uh, to cover their Colombian visit while admitting they wanted to give critical commentary on it like they would never do for their clients working royal. Why on earth would the Duke and the Duchess give access to reporters who intend do toxic vendetta journalism on such a positive visit? Why are they surprised that the door, the door was shut in their devilish faces? Why are they, like they feel this whole entitlement, you know, to Harry and Meghan and that's not the case. They don't have power, they don't have say. Harry and Meghan have got the right, the, 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 the whole right to choose whom they want and whom they don't. That's one thing that, you know what, I've shown people that we got to stand and we stand for what we want, what we believe in. That's Harry and Meghan. Them feeling unbothered, that, that doesn't like shake Harry and Meghan, not even for a bit. That been said and done, I'll be checking you through some comments of what people had to say about uh, the same. And I would love so much to know what you think on the comment section. Just let me know what you think about the same and I'll for sure be glad to reply back. Why invite people who attack, lie, distort everything you do? They attack every charity every charity worker you know with and go after them with their vile reporting those people say they are irrelevant and tell them to go away when they got what they deserved no access now they are whining about it like cry some more cry some more is all i can tell them because them dreaming of ever getting or having access you know, towards I and Megan, that's a nightmare. That's a nightmare. I don't know what you're thinking, what you have to say about this, but they are basically anticipating all the impossible. They are basically anticipating all the impossible. Somebody came about with a nice summary that I loved myself. William and Kat are at home waiting on Charles to die. Charles, who is dying at home trying to get Andrew out of a house that he has been living in for 20 years plus. Anna is at home waiting to see if she will get her memory back from getting kept by a horse or a husband. For God knows what exactly happened. But what about Harry and Meghan? They are waiting on nothing because they don't depend on on anything that the monarch has to say to happen to them. They aren't waiting for any, you know, appointments. They aren't waiting for any taxpayer-funded money to be given to them. They aren't waiting for anything of the sort. That's Harry and Meghan. That's Harry and Meghan. 
They are amazing, incredible human beings, if I'm to say. I'll say this over and over again. We can't love them any less. We can't love them any less because just looking at Camilla Tomini, you know, just going on interviews and sprouting out lies after lies after lies. That one says more. It explains a lot of what these people's intentions are. I don't know what you have to say. Harry and Meghan don't need the British press. Harry and Meghan don't need the institution. Harry and Meghan don't need anything that comes from the royal left behind. They've, they've, they've just navigated their own space. They've forged their own path. And that's why they are able to stand for what they want. They decided to stand for what they believe in, even if it means standing alone. That's Harry and Megan. Somebody commented and said, I just seen a clip of the Daily Fail reporter Rebecca English talking about the Colombian visit by Harry and Megan. She told a blatant lie on it for all to see. She said uh, that Telegraph UK is pro Harry and Meghan, which is a big fat lie. And even uh, they got turned away. And they wonder why they are called nasty. They wonder why people hate them. They wonder why people don't see the need uh, or the reason as to why they do what they do. That's, that speaks volume. I don't know what you have to say, but I'm happy of every single move Harry and Meghan have decided to make. Just let me know what you think about the scene. Somebody went ahead and said, and bravo to the Duke and the Duchess. They long ago realized what exactly the royal daughter was and have decided to exclude them for good course. Others have tried, but didn't have the star power. Others have tried, but have never emerged out as successful. They are bothered for that reason. It's crazy. It is indeed crazy. They just need to stop whining and keep a stiff upper lip and just calm down and carry on. Just la like leave Harry and Megan alone. That's the only way they can save themselves time, spares their mental health, their well-being, and even look for better opportunities in wanting to earn a living, not on trashing on a couple that lives miles away from that. The fact is that without Meghan and Harry, the royal daughter would have nothing to talk about. Their jobs are at risk as their own royal family have been mere petty much the entire 2024. They themselves know very well that they are left behind. They are supposed to called royal you know family are very much irrelevant they don't assist them in making their daily bread and maybe that's the reason of the hat that's the reason of the daily intrusion i don't know what you have to say just let me know your thoughts on the comment section hoping to see you guys in our next more videos to come i've been your host famish river